In the town of Lockhart, this case pits two community values against each other. The desire to protect yourself and your property and supporting law enforcement. Tonight, the deputy defends what happened, even as the case against his shooters crumbles. Lockhart, no one. Uh, hi, uh, we have a cop on our property and he's been shot and he needs help right now. Okay, okay. Where's he shot at? Where's he shot at? Uh, he's shot in the wrist and shoulder. Caldwell County Sheriff's Deputy Jay Johnson has just taken two bullets, bleeding on the front steps of a home. This report says in the early hours of February 2nd, 2018, the 27-year-old deputy was dispatched to look into whether one neighbor stole another's tool chest. The investigation takes the rookie deputy past this private gate, marked with a no trespassing sign, and down a dark, dirt road. I hear a woman call out, I hope you're ready to die. And then I feel the pain in my shoulder. And I realize that I'd just been shot. As he's getting ambushed, I just knew that this was a bad situation. He takes another shot to the wrist. I've been seeing a, an, an immense amount of blood coming from my shoulder, and then I just see this giant hole that is in my wrist. The round went through my wrist and impacted my chest. One of the immediate things that went through my head was, is how am I gonna get home to see my wife? While still sorting through a confusing chain of events, Officers arrest this couple, Kimberly Moore and her boyfriend, Eduardo Padilla, both of whom officials say shot and could have easily killed Deputy Johnson. He spends the next six weeks in the hospital and has more than two dozen operations in all. It was absolutely a struggle because I was in and out of surgery every single, almost every single day. Over the next year, Caldwell County treats the Army vet as its hometown hero. He becomes a symbol of how police work is so dangerous, so deadly. Some start the hashtag J Lives Matter. The local paper gives him the best deputy sheriff award, and he goes to the Capitol to meet Governor Greg Abbott, honored for nearly making the ultimate sacrifice. I've never felt so loved, though, because the community came out in just waves and waves of support. District Attorney Fred Weber starts collecting evidence and here's recorded statements the couple gave investigators that night. Uh, I didn't see any police lights not coming in or not pulling up to our fence, and he didn't say anything as he was coming down the driveway, so I had no idea who he was. There's, there wasn't even a patrol car out front, and, and it wasn't until we shot that he started screaming, I'm a cop, I'm a cop. D.A. Weber says Deputy Johnson made a number of mistakes that night that put him right in the line of fire. For starters, he didn't turn on his overhead emergency lights to signal that a deputy was in the area. And he went on to private property in the middle of the night with no backup, even though there was no real emergency. But in March... These two shot and injured a sheriff's deputy, but tonight charges against the couple are dropped. The shooting happened outside District of Attorney Fred Dale Weber Thursday. dismisses the case against the shooters. Deputy Johnson is stunned. I was expecting to go to trial. Uh, basically tell my story there and then see what the jury had to say about things. Neither Weber nor Sheriff Daniel Law would talk on camera, but in this statement, the sheriff says he supports the DA's decision to drop the charges. After I got out of the hospital, things started to kind of shift. It went from me being a victim to me being a defendant, basically. I had to defend why I was shot. To the sheriff and the DA, the deputy who almost lost his life put himself in harm's way. And Moore and Padilla exercised their legal right to defend themselves from possible harm. They spent four days in jail total. Deputy Johnson says he feels cheated, that the two people who shot an officer in the line of duty will go unpunished. They're going to go back to their life like it was nothing, where I have to bear these scars for the rest of my life. I was just hoping for justice. I mean, how can you shoot a cop and get away with it without even a ticket? 
Deputy Johnson is still on the payroll for the sheriff's office, but on medical leave. The DA and other officials who review this case say one thing could have helped resolve what really happened that night. Deputy Johnson had a body camera, but that night, the battery was dead. Tony Plahetsky, KVU News.